Come into the fire. Salwam, Salwam, Salwam. Alright, Shalom! Shalom! Before we begin this camp, we want to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, and Dr. Double honors to our elders and apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, that taught us well, who will set a to the 144,000, hope for the neck, spreading this word and this truth, doctrine, and truth, honesty, and sincerity across all four corners of the earth. Shalom! Shalom! With the book from Great Millstone, Miami, coming back once again to the spreading part of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai to preach this word and this gospel to the so-called black Latinos and Native American men and women that the Lord has told us to compel to repent, all right? And now we're going to flood the streets and the city with the wisdom, knowledge, and power of Yahweh Bashem Al-Shai. Lord Willem, this camp will be edifying. I'm going to pass it to the brother, the beautiful brother, uh, Kabor, and Lord Willem, this camp will be edifying. Shut up, Shut up. Shut up. Like we're going to say, Lord Willem, this camp be edifying, you know, and once again, we are on this, you know, out here on this hot Saturday, you know, right now it's raining. All right, preaching is truth, man. All right, in season, out of season. But well, I like what the brother said when he was open up. All right, we out here on, you know, outside on the highways and byways, you know, making, you know, making our voice heard unto the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, man. I right, mean, that's watching and being as prophets, that's our job. Okay, and to be fair, you can start over that problem. Run real quick. You can start first with uh, 20. Say, uh, wisdom card without you. Oh. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. And that's what we do through the Spirit, man. Okay? Wisdom what? From Yahweh by Shema's side, man. That's the ultimate wisdom upon this earth, man. And the Lord has it where he's using his prophets, all right? All right, from the nation of, you know, of the so-called Negroes, Latino American, uh, of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to warn you guys, man. Okay, being being that as our job, we're gonna tell you of the good news, or right, tell you about the prophecies, you know, which you know the bad and the good, which ultimately all the scriptures are good. Okay, all right, man, that's our job, man. Uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter one and verse three. Zechariah, chapter three and verse one. It says, "Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel." Alright, which ultimately the world is being talking about the truth. Okay, you want me for the digestion, going to these breakdowns, you know, understand, you know, of the of the saints, the parables, are from the outside and all through the scriptures, so we can prophesy unto you know talk on new legal lot to the Native Americans, man. Okay, we put it, you know, indulge into the scriptures, man. Okay. Uh, verse two. It says, So I opened my mouth. And he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech, and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. All right, and that's who we sent up to the spirit, man. Right? All right, so we get this, we get, we get the spiritual food. All right, which is the spiritual, the spiritual. So I'm to you, so I'm to you, and that's why we got the good news. That's why we, that's why we got, you know, the things that the scriptures talk about when you know you, you take a part within this, you know, truth, the trials and tribulation. Okay, that's the bitter part. You know, we just read it says honey. All right, that's the sweet part, the good news. All right, which we about to get into. Okay, but before we get into, can we get that uh, Revelation 10? And just start at the bottom, we talk about, you know, eating a roll too. Revelation chapter 10, verse 10. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. All right, and it's, it's not um, literally, okay? You know, it's spiritually, okay? You got the understanding, all right? And part of getting understanding is part of coming within this truth, 
which we all know through the spirit, and which we all, you know, we, we currently go through it, okay, we get the good news, coming to the truth, hearing, you know, that a hey, uh, so-called Jesus, whose true name is Yahushua, all right, which his name means he saves, he delivers, okay, understand that he's a so-called black man, he looks like us, all right, the Lord actually loves us, okay, that a hey, in the kingdom, you're going to be set up upon high over the heathens, over our enemies, hey, these so-called white men, they go into slavery, and so on and so on, these good news, but part of the bitterness, understanding that, hey, you're going to, you know, you're going to go through shit, trials and tribulations, hey, trouble with the flesh, trouble with the spirit, fighting the demons, okay, but that's all for a purpose, man, and if you want to enjoy the things that come with the good news, you're going to have to go through these certain things, man, all right, persecution, like the brother said, okay, you know, trouble with your women, you know, and so on, so on, it's, it's a whole list of hell and bitterness we go through, man, I got to for you, man, got it. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 17. And I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly and, per and perceive that this is vexation of spirit. But in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. So let's go into the, 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 the bitter what the brother was just speaking about. Okay? When you get this, this wisdom, it's in your mouth sweet as honey. But in your belly, it's bitter because when you come to the understanding that you're being oppressed, the scripture saying, the scripture says, surely oppression making the wise man mad, man. When you know that you're being oppressed, you're not going to take that line uh, uh, lightly if, if you if you're a prudent man, man. You know, if you're just a simpleton, you ain't gonna give it down, okay? But if you're a prudent man, you know you're being oppressed, man, okay? And the back of the brother, that's true, man. All right, what we did, what we what we what chose to move in righteousness. We came, we, we, we chose to, you know, you know, come upon a path, you know, of such, you know, grievous obstacles, man. Okay, I should say. Hey, you, you understand what's, you know, off to, off towards the Lord, you start to see and understand things different. Okay? Walking around, walking amongst your day, going to the store, seeing all this momo shit, all these abominations, that's vexation of the spirit, man. Okay? That's part of the bitterness, man. Okay? Which that, in a sense, should motivate you to seek the kingdom more, man. Okay, that will that should motivate you to see you know, keep pushing for the thing that I said towards the good news. Okay, all right, you got Isaiah 61, Isaiah 61, verse 1 The Spirit of the Lord Yahweh is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. All right, and who's the captives? You know, so called Negro Latin Native American, all these crimes they let on down, man. Okay. We are out here to preach good news unto them, man. All right. Yeah, we understand it's not going to be for everybody, but the whole conclusion is we're here ultimately for the elect, man. Okay. What is that? Uh, I believe Romans 11 or 7. All right. It's ultimately for the elect. Okay. The elect going to love the good news. It, the elect going to love that honey, man. The elect, the elect going to savor it, man. But, hey, you two thirds, y'all going to shrug your shoulder. Y'all going to brush it off, man. Y'all going to try to, hey, y'all not going to hear it. Go on, man. Just to be Verse 2, to proclaim the seventh year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to come for all that mourn. All right, and who's supposed to be mourning, man? Two-thirds not really mourning, all right, for the abomination that has been done thereof. They're not crying in siren, signs. All right, it's supposed to be the elect, man. The whole right. elect, man. The men of the Lord that's on the higher than Bari, they are crying, man. And, and every day we pray to the Lord, and if you're not, you should be, you should be in the same spirit where you're crying and sign for the Lord to hasten these days, man. Okay, and and even to that, you know, even to that, and make you make you ready for what's about to come, man. Right. All right, we about to get into some rural times, man. So you know, harsh times, man. So we talk about Jacob Chuckle, okay, a time like them before. Okay, it sounds it's, it may sound bad, but it's really good news to us, man. Because why we get comfort when we hear these certain things, man. Okay, you got some? Yeah. Right. Oh. Luke four and verse seventeen, and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found a place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering and recovering of sight to the blind, to set a liberty to them that are bruised. Hey, 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 that's what we are here to do, man. You know, we, hey, we are here to preach the faith worthy out by Shema Shai, man, to, to, hey, to, to the meek and to the brokenhearted, man. Uh, to those that are mourning, man, and, 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 and those are the prophets, man. 
You know? Yeah. Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Verse 6. They'll start with the elect on down. Salah, start now verse 4. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. All right, how, how are we supposed to be comforted through the scriptures, man? Mm -hmm. All right, the scripture said the two shall set you free. All right, that's what ultimately gives us a sound mind, man. I understand, this, this is not the end-all, be-all, like brother said. This is not the end-all, be-all, okay? It's not, oh, you don't know, you don't live once. All right, it's greater after this, man. Ain't this place about to be destroyed, man. All right, it's about to get real hectic out here. The dollar about to crash. Right. Okay. Be real close to the um the chip, man. Okay. I might say, if you uh, speak, speaking of the comforter, okay, the Holy Spirit, the scriptures, okay, if you read Psalm 71, it tell you how, you know, we are uh, envious of, of, of the wicked when we saw his prosperity. We did not understand it. Okay, but now that the Lord is dealing, okay, we understand the scriptures say when we entered into the sanctuary, then we understood there are a lot of end. So understanding what's, what's going to be happening in the end times, that brings comfort to us, man. That's how we are comforted. It's through the scriptures. It's knowing what, what, what the end game is going to be through the scriptures. That's, 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 that's how we're comforted, man. You see? That's how we're comforted. You got it? But why? Because you read, you read the scriptures, the scriptures, it goes into details. All right, we, we can picture it, but we don't know exactly, okay? That is, it's gonna be crazy out here, man. As I said, woe is me, woe is me, man. Who shall deliver me in those days, man? Understand the reincarnation, our right, side note, okay? But basically going to how, how hectic it's gonna be out here, man. But understanding, hey, reading the Psalms, okay? Understand, reading Psalm 91, okay? This one I like, oh, I can do Psalm chapter 9, verse um, 9 on down. All right, scripture said, "We're on the Lord." All these, all these comforting scriptures, you know, makes you, you know, be in good spirit, man. All these people, they not in good spirits right now. All right, they, they was, they say what depression is at all time high, man. Okay, because why they don't, they don't, they don't understand, they don't understand, they can't receive the good food, man. If to come a person to come into third, it looks like it's the end all be all. It, it looks like everything. It's about to collapse on their head, man. Okay? They ain't, ain't no ain't no faith for, for the two-thirds. Ain't no faith for these people out here, man. Right? Okay? Yeah. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord, your house, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right, so, hey, man, who's signing card right now? The elect. We just went through this wicked-ass uh, month, all right, Pride Month. And, but, you know, it was at an all-time wickedness. But everybody's walking around with their heads down. Well, they turn the cheek the other way. They're not signing card for all the abominations that the midst of, but the elect is, all right? The men of Yahweh, Bashi, Yahweh, Shai, are signing card. That's why we come out here to compel you so-called black Latino and American men and women to repent and come back to the Lord, all right? Because the Lord is looking at that. Y'all say, y'all say y'all self, well, the Lord knows my heart, but y'all quiet as fuck when y'all hear that shit's going on. When y'all hear that men are chopping the nuts off for, for all these, uh, to push the agenda. But what is the sign of crying, all right? Now Mark, now Mark is the twat, all right? The twat. That's, that's the mark you want to get. Right. All right, you don't want, you don't want that Revelation 13, 16, all right, what's about wow. soon? It's real soon about to come on, you know, earth real soon. Right? But going back to the uh, brother speaking of, in Ezekiel, okay, most of me, they, you know, the men of the Lord are signing crime, man. Huh? All right, what the brother said, crime, what? Nobody really, why they not signing crime? Because they hand in hand, okay, with who's ruling, man. Most of me, with the so called white men, man. Huh? They they for that shit, man. A man of the Lord, a man of righteousness, is seeking out my side, is going to stand out and cry aloud, man. Uh, you know, you could say prophesy against Mount Seir. Or against the ways of Esau. Alright, so that's what you do. Mainly pushing it. Alright, brother, you gotta prophesy against my, uh, my Mount Seir. Okay? <laughs> but that's our jaws, man. We're not, we not to be of wickedness, man. 
Our people to be of the scriptures, all righteousness, and all, all the good news that's about to come, that by the flourish upon this earth. And, 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 and those who are, you know, abiding all wickedness, hey, they're they going to have, they gonna, you know, going to have to take part of judgment, man. Death, famine, death, I mean, death, famine, and pestilence, and all sorts of destruction that's about to come, up, or come upon this place, man. All right? They only put in a... They only putting their head in a hole right now, man. All right? And they just keep digging and digging, man. It's about to, it's about to get a real worse out here, man. They got their heads tucked in the sand. Yeah, their legs it out. They, they think just by covering their ears and their eyes that it's just going to go away, but it's not. It's going to get worse. That's right. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. All right, so hey, Mount Seir, what was that? That was a, a land that was in Edom, all right? That was Edom, all right? But what is the, the land that is now being inhabited and ruled by Esau now, which is the wicked city that we know as Babylon, which is the America, or, uh, the, uh, the Americas, all right? The USA. Okay, so what are we supposed to do now? We're supposed to prophesy against America, which is modern day Mount Seir. Are you not going to be joined hand in hand with Esau, man? He's not going to be in league with his ways, man. Because all his ways are um, nothing but evil, man. Yeah, so so let's go into some of his ways. Okay. His, his holidays, his uh, laws, his, his, his what? Laws. Well, you're supposed to follow the laws of the land. According to Romans 13, you know, we, we're law by citizens. But as far as his uh, holidays, his medicine, his ideology, his philosophies, you're not supposed to uh, be into that. You're supposed to be separate. Now, yes, we got to get driver's license and we got to have car insurance and we got to, uh, you know, we can't revolt up against the so-called white man. But as far as his ways, you're not supposed to have no dealings with that. Dietary? Dietary law. So if Esau tells you to, uh, hey, take this medicine and heal yourself, you're supposed to say no. We got our own customs. Uh, uh, if he tells you to take that, see him. You got to say no, man. Gotta listen to him. Okay? So you got Israelite, Israelite leaders out here uh, basically sacrificing their own uh, men and women, congregation. Telling you, okay, don't celebrate uh, uh, Christmas, don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but you're telling them to take his medicine? It's all together. Just because you don't do one, you tell them to do the other one. It's all a part of the image. It's all a part of the image, man. It's all a, it's all one and the same. And, but you people, you don't understand that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as the Rock, chapter 38 and verse 4. It says, The Lord hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. Meaning you're not going to avoid them, okay? You're going to use the medicines out of the earth that the Lord gave you, okay? To heal you. That's first right. of all, you're going to pray to the Lord, first and That's foremost. Right. And, and there were many men in the Bible that when they didn't seek the Lord first and they sought a physician first, the Most High dealt with them. That's, That's right. what happened to one of our kings. Okay, so you're supposed to pray to the Most High first and foremost. Right. You're not supposed to tell your people to go and take the so-called white man's, and it's not even medicine. You're not supposed to go and tell them to take his uh, 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 pharmacia. Right. Because what he's doing is he's taking certain parts from the real, real herbs and he's mixing it in the pot and he's just conjuring up a whole bunch of shit, man. Okay? It, it, that's the sister right. She's right. listening from a, a window. It's chemical warfare. And you're not supposed to tell your people to go and do that. Take the herbs, like the sister said, man. Take the that's right. And that's what we preach to our people. Take the herbs, because the Most High created the herbs for us to, to take, man, and to use. Okay? Got it. Real quick, to back up the brothers, all right, because all the physicians, they got to go through something called the Hippocratic Oath. Okay? This is Wikipedia. This is the Hippocratic Oath. Let's go into this real quick. The Hippocratic Oath is an oath of ethics historically taken by physicians. It is one of the most widely known of Greek medical texts in its original form 
it requires a new physician to swear by a number of healing gods to uphold specific ethical standards. The oath is the earliest expression of medical ethics in the Western world, the Western world, right, which is that, America. Establishing several principles of medical ethics which remain of paramount significance today. All right, so all the physicians that you go, when you go to the hospital, before they become a physician, they gotta take this fucking oath, man. Which is what, they're preaching, they're, they're preaching their allegiance to the Greek gods. They're not preaching their allegiance based off education, but to the fucking gods, which goes back to paganism, man. And which ultimately, they, those, they're not real physicians, they call themselves doctors. Some of them, they might call themselves physicians, but a true physician is, they get heard from the earth. But these people right here, what they do is, they get the, some, what I said earlier, and then, and they extract the real green, and they sell you what? They study medicine. I mean, they study uh, uh, chemicals. They study chemicals. They study, that's why when you go to the doctor, you tell them, hey, I got high blood pressure, what does he give you? He doesn't tell you to go work out. He doesn't tell you to get sun. He might just say that. But what do they prescribe you? High blood pressure pills. Mm -hmm. They don't tell you to go and, and drink beet juice and go work out and, and, and go exercise. Their system operator of you coming back. Yeah, they need to right. keep that revolving door open. You coming back, right. that's how they get paid, man. Yeah, they, they like to treat it, not they don't, make, they don't like to heal it. Heal it, there you go. It's right. different. When, when you treat it, you, you just you, you just give it like a little bit of a cure, but it's not really giving you actual cure. Yeah. So 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 you you get it treated. You keep coming back, keep coming on pills. Yeah, hey, you only getting worse. That's right, man. and then you ultimately become dependent on it. And yeah. that's, the, that's the rabbit hole. It goes deep. Right. And I, then when you become so dependent on it, say if you do get the actual heal, it's gonna feel sick to you, man. Because yep. your body is right. not used to that. Man. Your body, it's your synthetic. Body, yeah, your, it's it's synthetic. Synthetic. your body right. not used to the actual herb that's gonna heal you. Right. We're, we're talking about this because right now this is a very uh, pivotal, uh, important uh, moment in in this society as far as our people. Uh, because uh, they got a lot of questions. Our people don't know how to heal themselves. We are supposed to get away from the so-called white man way of his thinking. Completely. We're supposed to get away from that. Yeah, guys, this philosophy is corrupted, man. It's corrupted, man. And that's the, what Kakum was just saying just now about, about uh, taking that oath. When you go to him, they also covering themselves too. So if they, if they was to operate on you and something goes south, they ain't gonna be, they're not gonna be blamed for it because you signed. You signed that way. You see what they do with the vaccine? They, they, they was like, yeah. if you die for it, hey, you, you, you die, you die. Yeah, we're not you, know, you can't sue. And, and, and you people are supposed to ask questions. Right. You're supposed to ask, hey, what is that? What are you inserting in me? What are the ingredients? Look it up. I put the video of the ingredients of the first jab, it's banned from YouTube. <laughs> it's completely banned. As soon as you try to upload it, they, they take it right down. Why is that? Because the ingredients in that, it's not good for you. And you got men that are saying that they're Israelites telling you to put that in your body. That's madness, man. And, and that's the spirit what you want to talk about. That's the spirit because I just recently just watched um, a video not too long ago. It was um, some bleep, I forgot who it was, but he was speaking on how, you know, how medicines and certain things like, you know, what the doctors describe you works. All right, he was supposed to be talking about like, um, if you have a headache, right? All right, you have a headache, you know, what they tend to do, they they, they only tend to treat the symptoms. All right, they don't, they don't tend to um, treat what's actually causing the headache. They don't go to the source. They don't go to the source. They only here to treat the symptoms, all right? And they just gonna keep on rolling like that. Why? They just because, you know, they trying to benefit off it, trying to have you come back, all right, trying to make money off it. All right, why? Because most of these all wickedness, man. But coming from who? The so-called white man, Esau Edom, man. Okay, but you can read that up. Yeah, man. The, uh, the pharmaceutical companies, they are hand in hand with the politician, the lobbyists, so they can make business. This is all a business. This is, this is Job 13, verse 4. We are for forges of lies. You are all physicians of no value. All right, this is, we, we talking about the same spirit that was in, um, always since the beginning, man. Okay, one, we, we, we got to do it. K, K lied to the most high, man. Same spirit, man. 
all the way down to Jacob Esau to this day, man. Okay, this is the same spirit that lied to so-called God. Okay, the fourth of life. He was the first liar, man. <laughs> Real quick, First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 20. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings. That's what they're telling you, lies and profane babblings, man. These people are liars, okay? They are, they are corrupted and tainted. It says, and oppositions of science falsely so-called, okay? They're telling you to trust the science, okay? <laughs> science didn't create man and woman, man. The most high created man and woman. Most I created the heavens and the earth. Science didn't do that. And what well, also the most I created. Most I created the herd. That's right. Okay. You know, but Okay, this is the book of Genesis, chapter one, and verse one. Right. This, this is the first book within the Bible. Yeah. It says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And it's gonna jump down. Which most me that first verse, just to you know break it down real quick. All right, it's the Lord gave the blueprint to our, to your house, shine the powers and the angels on down, okay? To, to, to the Allahayim, the Allahayim to create the earth, man. No one just is so-called God that just made the earth, man, okay? You got it. Uh, verse 11, it says, And the Most High said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself, upon the earth and it was so and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind and the most i saw that it was good jumping down to verse 29 where the seeds at man where the fuck are the seeds at the most I created everything that you eat it's supposed to have a well not everything but the fruit the vegetables. What's going on, man? The so-called white man has completely destroyed the earth. That's right. So what is this at? He telling you the seed not good for you? What is the seed at? The seed is what makes the plant reproduce. Okay? Reproduce. It's the seed. If, 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 if you don't even eat the fruit, if the fruit drop off the tree of itself, and, and, the, and, the, and the fruits stay on the ground and rotten, those seeds are going to go into the earth, man, what, what, and what, reproduce. What, what did the so-called white man do? He looked at God's creation and said, It's not worthy. You're not good no. enough. <laughs> Hated it. So what? this is what type of nigga that we're dealing with. Right. The so-called white man looked at God's creation and said, It's not good enough. I'm going to make seedless grapes. I'm going to make seedless grapes. I'm going to make seedless watermelons. Right. I'm going I'm to I'm do away with the Most High's creation. Right. I'm going to have my own creation. And he's inserting that in humans. Right. And trying to patent you right. and to become his creation. Right. He's doing that with humans now. Right. That's why we're telling you, do not do it. That's right. That's God right. is our only creator. That's right. The so-called white man is trying to pat, uh, uh, use. Uh, uh, he's trying to go after what the most high is trying to do. He's trying to say he's the most high. Right. Right. What do you think? <laughs> He takes the fruits, you know, he, he switched up, you know, he, he, he enlarges it. He want to do it his way. Right. Oh, God way ain't good enough. Right. He want to add minerals to the water and shit. Yeah. Yeah. He's taking it even further because that's just the fruits, right? He take, he's doing it now with the meat. Now they're giving you, they just approved, right? The FDA just approved, right? Yeah, yeah, for live meats, man. Live, meat. live, live yeah. grown meats, man. Live grown chicken. So that's not even real. It's not real because it's not, it's, it hasn't came from a seed. A child comes because it's, it's from somebody, someone's seed. Right. Uh, even to that, they they trying to they trying to make um, babies in a um, in the that, yeah in the incubator. 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 Yeah. They trying to see this man is going too far, and, right. and if you don't see that, then you it's something wrong with you. Right. He needs, he needs to be stopped. That's right. We need to get out of here, man. Uh -huh. That's why Esau he has something called um, hunting trophies. Where he goes out to the wilderness and he kills giraffes, he kills rhinos, lions, no, no, no. and they go no. under the label and the disguise of trophies. And what do they do? They chop the head off and they put the, the head of the animal on their fucking wall, man. What benefit is that, man? Right. What benefit? Lord made specific our animals to eat. Right. They, they're doing it for sport. Yeah. And that's right. why the scriptures say he's going to destroy them, which destroy the, the earth. earth. Esau, he do everything. Anything 
dealing with blood is sports. It's a sport because he's a hunter. Right. He's right. a cunning hunter. Right. He he saw That's going fish, way. and I see him. He'll go and fish. Cause I'll be out there. I, I, I'm somewhat of a fisherman. <laughs> He'll go out there and fish. A cooler full of fish. You don't need all that fish, man. Yep. You're supposed to take what you can eat right. and leave the fish be. Oh. But he just fishing just to fish. Yeah. You ain't supposed to do that, man. If you're gonna fish, okay, you take enough. You go feed your family. You might give some away to your neighbor, and that's it, man. Yeah. Oh. And, and that's great. Hey, what what Obadiah one say? All right, that, then when you when you when, when it goes to the uh, when you uh, the great grabbers, yeah, yeah. great grabbers, yeah, 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 the law, right? right? And when it, when you went to go grab grapes, all right, you gonna take enough and leave some for the poor. But if it's Esau, the so-called white man, he gonna take yeah, everything. Just go, just go, you know. Right. That's why you got endangered species, endangered exactly. fruits, and that you got uh, uh, fruits and vegetables that were here a hundred years ago. They're not here anymore. Animals too. Animals, birds are dying. Endangered species of fish and, and eagles and the rhinos and, and everything is in danger. We're, we're about to be in danger. That, yeah, that's the spirit. Hey, that's the spirit. Come hey, on. The, 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 the Lord said that, except we shorten the days, there would be no flesh saved. All, all, everybody's in harm. Everybody's not safe from the so called white man. He's a mad scientist. Right. Uh, that's the that's the I watched another video today. All right. All right. It was going, basically going to some stories about you know so-called black men in a specific state or city. I think it was Milwaukee, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, people have certain testimonies how uh, they got a little sport out there where Esau, the so-called white man, will you know hunt black people, man. So-called black people, man. So, you got sundown town. Sundown town. Sundown town. Right. You can't even catch sundown town. Catch, catch near outside. I'm going to catch them. Man. It's a sport. It's a sport to them. Well, that's well-known oh, history. Shit. That's slavery to this day. That's right. well-known history. And, and that's history. And they still have sundown town. Right. Till this very day. Yep. And if you get caught, you, you see uh some of those articles with Jake, where you find some of Jake with their head dismembered and, and they're cut up and they're being tortured, because you got you got caught up with, with the wrong Edomites. Right. <laughs> you trusted you trusted your enemy. You trusted your adversary. Well the scripture clearly tells you the, 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 the never trust thy enemy, man. Oh, why are you so called hate the white why you hate hate the so-called white man? Why do you know this? What, 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 really truly we just said enough to drop the mic. Exactly. That's enough to get the so-called white man eradicated from the planet Earth. Just we didn't we didn't even go into everything. Just you messing up the uh, uh, the, the true essence of, of the, the circle of the nature of life is enough for you to get destroyed. What back in Genesis? The book of Genesis, chapter one and verse twenty-nine. Uh, the Most High said, "Behold, I have given you every every herb." Bearing seed, which and is what say that again. And it says, verse 29, and the most I said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the all the earth, and every tree and the which is the fruit of the of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life i have given every green herb for meat and it was so right, lord the lord he gave us these certain herbs for us to consume man not to be hidden away smoke not to smoke that not to be smoke <laughs> hey not to be smoke okay so you're not going to defile your temple man yeah the lord man you know these certain herbs but you're not going to be smoking it man make tea you know oils and so on, so on, man. Once you, cause once you actually burn the, actually burn the herb, is all the, all the minerals and all the nutrients from the herb is it's not even there no more, man. Well, your body's telling you when you, when you cough it, you start coughing. Start coughing. Right. You're, you're coughing for a reason. It's your body's reaction to something that it doesn't want inside of its lungs. Right, right, right. It's no. telling you to <coughs> no. Your body's telling you no. And you got sharpness of breath. A lot of people who smoke weed, they go to the hospital and they got to put them on respirators, man. They got to put them on those air tanks, man. Yeah, you have sharpness of breath. They say it's good for you, man. Smoking weed is good for you. No, no. You're no. destroying the body. So like the, the body is the temple, man. Okay? Right. You only get one body. Right, and your body don't belong to you. That's why you're not supposed to destroy it. The Lord says he's going to destroy you if you destroy the temple, man. You're not supposed to destroy your temple. This is why you're supposed to smoke weed. 
They say they believe in God, but the first thing they do is get the damn car keys and run down to the hospital. <laughs> right. That's what they did with the pandemic. Yeah. Hey. When the pandemic came, these people got demons on them, man. When the pandemic came, everybody was tested. Okay? What did they go down and do? They went down to Egypt after the so-called white man has kicked your ass for hundreds of years. Hundreds. Hundreds of years. Never put you first for anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care Three about captivities. you. Three captivities. Hey, 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 you stuck your arm out. You didn't even ask the man, hey, what's in this? Is there, is there any kale in this? Is there any uh, broccoli or, you know, is there any, anything from the earth inside of this? You didn't ask the man any questions. You're out of your goddamn mind. You wouldn't go to the goddamn supermarket and if anything you bought didn't have a label on it, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> but when it comes to your body, what you get one set of? One! one. <laughs> you didn't ask this man no questions. Right. You just stuck your arm out, you let him put the alcohol on it. Yeah. You, you let him put the alcohol in it, and he injected you. And after he injected you, you said, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and you left with a sticker. And some cheeseburger and fries. I mean, I mean, you people are sick, man. Right. You're a bunch of sick people. But this is what I'm saying. These motherfuckers that go to Walgreens, right, or a store, and the bottle of water don't have a label on it, they won't get it. You don't want it. Even though the shit that's on the label, it ain't even real. It's just for decoration. You are some sick people, man. <laughs> and if you don't believe us, and if you don't believe us, all you have to do is go on YouTube and look up what the British Parliament said to the to the um, to the advisor of Pfizer. All right, they asked her. They asked her, "What did you do to test this to make sure that it works?" They said, "We didn't do any testing." Pfizer said it themselves that they do they do no kind of testing whatsoever. That was British Parliament. Look it up. She admitted it. That should be enough. They they literally admitted it to you in wide open in the wide open, in the public, that they did not test the juice. It don't work, man. That's, that's the plain truth, man. That's, that's our job. We want, we want to reveal. Well, the point is, is the Lord that's revealing our, the so-called white man, man. Okay? He uses us, all right, to speak upon these certain things, man. We, we want to tell our people that we're not going to go, and go with his ways, man. We're not going to trust the hand of Esau, man. Yep. All right, you're not really supposed. Hey, you're not really supposed to be going to the doctor trying to, you know, oh, what's going on? You really supposed to, you know, it's it's a quick Google search, man. All right, hey, just search of Google. Hey, what herbs are good for this? What herbs? Hey, YouTube too, man. And what herbs are good for this? What herbs are good for that? Okay. Hey, one what herb that brothers use a lot? All right, ginger, man. Ginger is real helpful, man. Okay, you got mucus, inflammation, all sorts of things. Ginger is the one, you know, number one, man. Anti-inflammatory, anti man. Okay. We just read, scripture just told us not to have, we brought our words, right? Our herbs, our herbs. Yeah, not to abhor the herbs, man. We're not going to be ignorant of these certain things, man. But, hey, man, scripture is talking about, you know, our people are ignorant, you know, lacking knowledge, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are ignorant, man. Okay not taint to the ways of the Lord, man, okay? This is the foundation of life, man. Right. 
Okay, not just only, you know, physical counterpart, but to a spiritual counterpart, man. Okay? Also, too, if you want protection, physically, spiritually, all forms of way, especially for the time you're about to get into, you gotta seek Yabashi Mashai, man. That's the true name of the Heavenly Father, the Son, man. It's not God and Jesus, man. Okay? Alright, how you gonna give them, how you gonna give the true power of the names, man? Alright, the so called letter, letter J was not made too long ago, man. Alright? Well, Y'all saw it was, you know, spring out of, you know, Judah, man. All right, that's part of the tribes, man. That's part of, the, you know, the 12 tribes, Judah, the main tribe, the top tribe, man. Okay? He was a Hebrew man. Okay? Now you'll give a Hebrew man a different name. Matter of fact, how, let's say, brother, let's be sense. Okay? If your name in America is, all right, I'm going to give an example. Your name is Eric. And you go to Japan, would your name change? Uh, exactly, man. How you gonna say, oh, cuz it got trans? How the fuck you translate a name? If your name is Eric here, how the fuck is gonna translate to some other shit in Japan, man? That okay. makes no sense, man. Ultimately, ultimately, because they're trying to hide the truth, man. That's they're trying to hide the truth, but there's power in these names, man. Okay, it's gonna change, but there's power within these names, man. There's power in, every in the scriptures, man. All right? It's gonna say, he that dwell in the secret place of the most high, which that's talking about the scriptures, shall abide in, you know, in the shadow of Almighty, man. Okay, the scriptures tell you how uh, Ecclesiastes, the chapter one in the prologue, it tells you how the the, 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 the Hebrew words are much more powerful. All right. Our, Lord, our Lord's name is in the Hebrew. Okay, Yahweh Shai. That's what the name the angel Gabriel gave to Mary. That when she conceived, she's going to name our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Right. That's in the Hebrew. You know, it, that's that's why you know you gotta understand it, right? Yeah, they translated or the Bible now. It says Jesus, but his true name is Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. You read it, and you read it to say Yahweh Shai, not for other Jesus, okay? You know, for those who first you know coming up, they don't understand. We like, yeah, his name is, you know, they call him Jesus, but his true name is not Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai, right. which his name is a nomen omen, meaning he saves, man, and he's to the Most High. Is they call him, you know, God, but his true name is Yahweh, all right? Which his name means he is. All right, he is this. All right, when he went to, you know, um, to Moses, he said, I am who I am, man. He is, okay? He didn't say God. Right. right, so he has a name. Who you who you call God has a name. His name is Yahweh. The Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh. Okay, his son's name is, is Yahweh Shai. Okay, so they have names, man. And you, you, ought, you ought to proclaim those names. The scriptures say, uh, Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10, the name of the Lord, brother, is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10, the name of the Lord, Yahweh, is a strong tower. Right. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Right. And the scripture also tell you, uh, Psalms 124 and verse 8, our help is in the name of the Lord. Right. So in order for you to be helped, you have to know those names. That's why Proverbs 30 and 4, let me get it. Get Acts, get Acts 4 and 12. Uh, this is the book of Proverbs. All right, if it wasn't so, this scripture wouldn't ask you, it wouldn't ask you this question. But it's asking a specific question. Five different questions in one precept. Proverbs, go ahead, bro. Five, five, the number five, you know, you know, we got, you know, Lord has put your numbers. Four, meaning mercy, three, understanding, what they so far called angel numbers. All right, the two understanding, you understand the two numbers, eight. Four goes into mercy, five power, seven completion, you know, so on, so on. All right. All right. Yeah. And basically, basically, what I'm trying to say, there's power, you get power when you say these names, right? right? We all got testimonies to say, Yah, Yah, how about you on side, right? right. But there, there is power in the name because how do you think you rebuke a demon? Exactly. Right. How, how do you think you rebuke Satan or a demon? You got to call on the, on the true name, Yah, how about you on side. Right. You gotta call on those names, man. And I kid you not, when I was in the world, or when I was in what so called, you know, when, when I was in Christianity, I was called upon Jesus, 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 that, Jesus, this, nothing ever worked. Right. Right. When I came to the truth, start calling upon Yahweh by Shema side, huh. everything working, man. I'm, I'm fighting sleep paralysis, which that's a demon. Right. All, all types of demon thoughts. Right. You know, call upon the Lord. All right. Physical, actually fighting demons. Right. All right. But he had testimonies on that. All right. right. Actually, harass, you know, get, you know, you know, toss aside, you know, by demons. I call upon the name of the Lord and it right. works, yeah, man. Yeah, that's it, the spirit. I was just about to speak on that. You could be having a bad dream where something is about to get you. 
All right, when he's trying to get you, you start calling the names like Yahab, Bashim, El Shai, everything just start backtracking and going away from you. Right. Why? Because you're calling on the true power, man. Okay? You're calling on the names of the creator of the heaven and the earth. Okay? Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 4. It says, Who has ascended up into heaven or descended? Who has gathered the wind in its fists? Who has bound the waters in a garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou can tell. And that, even to that, man, the Lord didn't really give his name to unto everybody, man. Scripture says, oh, he revealed his secrets unto his servants, his prophets, man. The prophets, that's right. Okay, that's that. That The Lord kept, you know, his name a secret. He revealed it, he revealed it to us, man. All right, we love that in the spirit. Yeah, how about you our side, man? And I have to show you that salvation is not for all people. All right? Yeah, exactly. You must understand. Salvation is not for everybody, man. All right? This is for the so-called Negro Latino neighbor Americans, man. Right. It may sound... It may sound, oh, what the fuck? Oh, God don't love everybody. No, he doesn't love everybody. Even, right. even, even, two, like, even two thirds of our own people not going to get it on the first go round. All right, but what? Do mercy, they will be standing by right. the kingdom. There man. you go. Uh, okay. uh, uh, Romans 11 and 26. But also, you, you quoted earlier, Romans 11 and 7, where it says, Israel have not uh, 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 find that that is secret for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The elect are going to get it because they're going to they're going to get the understanding of these words and they're going to start adhering to to what the lord is saying and moving and diligence to be delivered because why they are part of the elect right okay i don't want to wrap this out with those men you yeah. see yeah. 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 this the book of acts chapter 4 verse 12 neither is there salvation in any other for there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved Everybody knows about so called this so called Jesus. Everybody knows that name, but not everybody has to, you know, the true understanding of the true name. Yahweh Bashi man. Right. Okay, because why? The Lord didn't reveal it unto everybody. Right. Okay, it wasn't for everybody. Right. It's also for the elect of the so called Negro Latino Native Americans. Man. Okay? Also for the so called Negro Latino Native Americans, the true the people of the nation of Israel, man. God's chosen people, man. I just can say that's a peculiar and special people unto himself, man. All right, you look back at the scriptures, okay? In the wilderness, who was in the wilderness, man? Was it everybody? No, it was the Israelites, man. Okay? All right, out of the eight souls that the Lord saved upon that ark, who was that? The Israelites, the Israelites. They were sons of God, man. Sons of God, man, the Israelites. Right. Hey, man, listen. Sons of God and their wives. That's right. The, the, name, the name Jesus, all right, it comes with literally spiritual warfare. It comes with spiritual trauma, all right? Because what did the Spaniards do? What was their secret weapon when they came to the Americas? All right, they came under the disguise of Christianity and they told the so-called indigenous Native Americans, also as well as um, the Mayans, which the Northern Kingdom, now the Aztecs, that if you don't worship Jesus, you will die and they will kill you. So that name comes with spiritual warfare and it comes with death, man. If I'm gonna say, okay, and that comes with a, a, a depiction. When you picture so called Jesus, you think about a so called white man, huh? right? Uh, all right, which that even to that was uh, uh, that in itself was the ways, ways of um, Esau, man, trying to whitewash the true depiction of the true Lord, man. Yeah, how was man? If you read your scriptures, you read Revelation chapter 1. 13 and 14, it on down, it tell you how so called Jesus looked like, man. Right. We have people so fucking ignorant, man. Right. So if you, to the back of your point, if you were to do a, a quick Google search and you type in, you type in, you type in Jesus and the, the Google, go to Google image and you type in Jesus, right. you're gonna see a so called white man, right? right. You're gonna you see that vibration. But if you type in Yahweh Shai, you're gonna see, the, uh, you're gonna see the image that the Bible is speaking of. Mm -hmm. uh, okay? Like the picture, man. Like a man of power. Exactly, man. You say his eyes was red, hair woolly. Right. And who got woolly hair? Us, man. That's right. So called Negro Latino Native Americans, man. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck is, which we understand, you know, where it came from, or what is it, uh, Caesar or here? All right. Israel came for, you know, uh, Esau, man. All right. They went off. Yeah. This is the book of Job.
chapter 9 and verse 24. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, who's ultimately the wicked? Who's ultimately ruling upon this earth, man? Who has to say so in, le you know, in legislators and what goes on upon the earth, the so-called white men? Right. Who, who has the power to shut down the whole earth? Exactly, man. <laughs> for two years. Exactly. That's some change. <laughs> what? Well, 2020, man. That should have been an eye-opener to you, man. That should have been an eye-opener to the Jake, man. So-called new lights here in America showing who has power upon the earth, who's the wicked, man. Okay, they shut down the earth. Real quick, man, of a, of a, a pandemic which they, they, they made, man. Okay. They have the rule and say so. Go 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, according to Malachi 1 and 4. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right. He, he, what, what, let's bring out what he did. All right. He whitewashed, which, you know, I can't, we, the word is iconoclasm. He whitewashed the, white the picture of Yahweh's side, man. So called Jesus, man. He painted him as a white man. The angels, the apostles. The angels, the, the, the saints. All right. So, you know, just to add on to what the brother was saying, you know, he, so called white man, what did he do? He whitewashed the images of what the saints, the 12 apostles, all right, Yahweh's side, the angels. All right, he made him, he made him a, 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 a weak white man, man. And you can see, you can actually see. By evidence, when you Google image the, the iconoclasm, you see a fucking Edomite painting over the original images. Right. He's painting over the original images, making them white. But they were dark-skinned, melanated men. All the men in the Bible were dark-skinned, melanated men that wrote the scriptures. Israelite men. Not no damn white men with blue eyes and long stringy hair. Uh, first Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. I lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. We read it again, 1 Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So, at the end of the day, when, that, when, that, uh, when the beast was wounded, okay, he had, he had, a, deadly, he had a deadly wound, okay, meaning the ancient Roman Empire, when it fell, Okay, it came back into the power in the, uh, the, Renaissance, uh, the Renaissance. I think it's about uh, 1300. Late, late 1400s. Yeah, late 1400s. Okay, they came back in. What does what the scripture say? Revelation uh, 20 and verse 8. They went out to deceive the nations. Right. How they deceived them? Through their trickery, their cunnery. They painted and whitewashed the images, man. Right. Look, like the brother was saying, just look up iconoclasm or the Russian icons. Google Russian icons, or iconoclasm, and you will see the white washing of the images, man. You see what the truth images look like. They're dark-skinned people, man. Okay? That's the experience. You go, they, they, they put on the TV, all right, you see all, you know, you watch these videos, you look at the background of what, what is called, what they call cathedral, or they, they church, cathedral, yeah. cathedral, they churches and shit. All right, you see black, black, you know, um, the pictures, man. Yeah, over there in Russia. In Russia, mm -hmm. man. All right, and, and you got people actually, you know, who's revealing it and speaking out, saying, "Yeah, the true people were black, so-called black man, dark skin." Man. Okay. But the Most High gave this man power. You read Revelation 20. He gave him power to deceive the nations. That's right. So this is why everybody believes. Well, they did believe because that shit is over with now. This is why everybody <laughs> believed that God was white, the angels were white, who the world calls Jesus Christ was white. Everybody in the Bible, that's why everybody believes that. Yeah, but hey, like, like what you're saying right now, that goes back to the prophecy because the Lord said we would worship even wood and stone. You see? That's right. <laughs> the Lord said we would worship wood and stone. Y'all didn't so, serve the Lord. So that was fulfilling the prophecy. Fulfilling the prophecy. Like, like, you know what? Not even, not even just that, they worship what? Rocks, crystals, people. Witches. They in the witchcraft now. Yeah, witchcraft. But that's all part of the curses too. Yeah. You say, oh, they shall grow up at noonday, man. Right. All right, trying to find what's the true knowledge. And it's good talk about they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. Right. Well, this is the true truth, man. That's all right. Talking. Because we transgress against the Lord. Exactly. The Lord say, uh, Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4, and thou even thyself will discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. So the Hebrew was beaten out of us, man. We lost our way. Right. Yeah. 
See? That's what we need. Stay rude about a dog. Right. Trying to, trying to Americanize, you know, trying to bring that out of you Jakes, man. So God needed that thing that was brought upon here, man. That, that was us paying back for our transgressions exactly. against the Lord. Exactly. That Lord, no heart, Lord had to put us in chains for a reason, man. It's like, oh, why did we have to go to slavery? Where was God? They're like, oh, where was God at during slavery? He's the one who put you there. Okay, because you transgressed against the most high. Right. <laughs> Where was God during slavery? He's the one who hand you over. Because you didn't want to stay with him. You didn't want to listen to him. So he hand you over. And that's what the Lord said the scripture say. He give you over to your own lusts. Right. If you want to do your own thing and you don't want to adhere to the words of the Lord, he will give you over and you become a reprobate mind, man. And that's why we still in captivity to this day, man. But it's not physical. Yeah, physical, you know, captivity in a sense. Yeah, we yeah, it's still well, we still in captivity, honestly. But it's really more in the mind, man. You saw say, are right, we gonna make them think they free? Y'all think y'all free because y'all able to roam around the streets, but nah. Y'all y'all mentioning it's there because you don't know who the fuck you truly is, man. Y'all went from Af Afro American, y'all went from blacks, y'all went from Negroes, y'all went to um Evos, Evos, all types of bullshit ass names, man. But that's all even the scriptures talk about it. Something called a pro uh, a byword, right, a proverb, a proverb, man. Okay. Now understand who the fuck you truly is. Wet box picks, niggas. Come on, he man. Negro, all of that. Colored. But why? Because y'all, you know, we've been in the story. There you go. That came back. It's counting? It's counting? It's counting? We should be good again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Lord not coming back for black people, man. When the Lord returns, he ain't come back for black people. He come back for those who know that they're Israelites. Those who know their heritage and practicing the customs and, 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 and uh, Keeping the law, statute, commandments to the best of their ability, rehearsing the righteous acts. Okay, those who are serving the Lord in truth and sincerity. These are the people. If you, if you are part of that number of the person of the elect, predestinated from the foundation of the world. This is what the Lord returning for to deliver those people, man. Not those who walking around not knowing themselves, calling themselves black. Why are they returning for you, man? That's yeah, right. And and understand, we're, we're Israelites, man. Right from from, from Israel, man. We gotta proclaim that. We gotta proclaim that because that's our that's our true, you know, nationality. It's not oh, oh they say oh that religion, you that's not it's not a religion, man. Okay? It's a way of life. That's how it's you know identity. it's identity, man. Right. Each, each, each saw is the biggest identity theft person upon this earth, man. Okay? Yeah. Oh Hebrew or oh, Hebrew is like, oh I'm believing that religion. Nigga, that's not a religion, that's who you are, dumbass. Right. Where, where, where do you see African American in the Bible? Exactly. Where do you see Jamaicans in the Bible? Where do you see uh, Mexicans in the Bible? You don't. The Lord deals with nations. All right, you see, you hear Israelites, you hear Moabites, Edomites, Ammonites, all right, uh, Ishmaelites, Edomites, and the, all those people. We can name them to the spirit who they are right now. Right. It's eighteen. It's eighteen table of nations. Right. Okay. These 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 nations were named long before you get these modern terms that they throw around here today. Okay. See? But every every people come from a line of people. You come from one of those uh, 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 18 table of nations, man. Okay? You come either from one of the lines of Ham, Shem, or Japheth. When the earth was flooded, okay, and, and, and repopulated again, all people on the face of the earth right now come from Ham, between Ham, Shem, and Japheth, man. And those 18 table of nations come from both of those three. Okay? So that's, that's what it is, man. The, the scriptures tell you, get it. Um, I get it. Um, Isaiah chapter 25. Because the Lord said he's going to destroy and dismount in the face of the covering cast, man. Okay? This is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 7. It says, And he will destroy and dismount in the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Okay, this is why the Lord is saying that. Because you got people of different nations calling themselves by different names, man. Okay? So-called so -called Japanese is Aman. Okay? The so-called Chinese is Moab. Okay? The so-called white man is Edom, Edomites. All right? Then you have the Hamites. You have the Israelites. Okay? These are the terms that's in the scripture. This is the supreme wisdom, man. You can't get away from this because this is the seed that the seed that you come out of, all right. Whatever seed your father is, that's what that's what you are. So if you're an Israelite, no matter if they're calling you Jamaican today or Bohemian or 
or, or you know of that sort all right you you from your perspective tribe whatever the father your father is is what you, you are for example me oh, uh, i'm a so-called uh, uh, uh haitian my, my dad he, he was born in haiti you know but i was born here but you know i'm a so-called haitian due to my father man. right but that makes you a levi that makes me what of course it's just, i'm a levi according to the bible he's a, he's a levi a brother. All right, the brother. Shoplifting, all of these different uh, stuff, what they consider misdemeanors, they're not they're not arresting them for them over in California, man. Yeah, they yeah. Chicago too. Chicago, right? Ben brought out that article. They not arresting people for certain crimes, man. Okay, but once the society, you know, once the system crash, it's gonna be all hell around here, man. Right? It's ultimately for you know the so-called leaders not to make Americans, man. But why would they do that in a, in a society that's supposedly supposed to have law and order? Why would they do that? It showed you that they need chaos so they can bring the solution. All right, no, 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 uh, what is it called? Uh, order, 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 order out of chaos. Order out of chaos, you want? So if order out of chaos, you want to say they can try, they can try to bring out a new world order, man. Okay, they, why? Because you understand you have a certain time, man. Right. He's on no, he's on a time clock. He saw no, he did the um the operation with uh what's called looking glass. Alright, he saw looking to the future and, and when he looked to his future, the Lord revealed it to him that hey he about to be put out of power, man. Right. Okay, y'all was trying about to crack the cloud, man. Alright, restore you, restore you, man, restore you, man. Alright, take back what's his man, his people, ultimately he like, and this earth, man. Okay, we got we got some scripture to back it up. Okay, I got uh, the book of uh the book of Job chapter uh, Job chapter 14 and verse 5 it says seeing his days are determined the number of his months are with thee meaning the most high he's who controls the time and uh, what is going to happen and when it's going to happen and when this is going to be fulfilled and when that is going to be fulfilled fulfilled the most high is in control of all that so this man doesn't have forever like him he only has the time that the Lord allowed. I got a quick one. Job 14 and 5 is a scene his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So you have a time that he's not going to be able to go over anymore. All right. And you see that fastly approaching. This is why he's going to come to have a great wrath. That's why the so called one man going to start with you. What, what we know about martial law, okay? You're going to implement martial law. You're going to start coming through your houses, trying to, you know, take y'all. Or why you know to you know breathe to take the chip and so on so on you gonna start persecuting you know us the men of the Lord on the highways and byways take you to a camp take you to a camp you know because we're prophesying against it man all we all we doing right now is on the highways and byways telling you of what he's trying to do unto you people man the so-called niggas Latino Native American Native Native Americans making war unto you people man all right in due time you're gonna strategically you know come at us man he gonna make this probably an agent do some you know off that shit so he have the skills to come out of this, man. Hey, so you talking about the family of the word. Right. All right, he gonna block us off of YouTube. Right. He gonna block us from coming around the house with the bowies, man. So you talking about person, he gonna be, you know, put in, you know, prisons, trying to finish 10 days, okay? But also because, you know, you got a short time, man. He's on a time limit, man. And time is running up. Right. I got a quick one. Psalm chapter 75, 
verse 1, I mean verse 7, it says, but the most high is, is the judge, he put it down one and set up another. Okay, understand how, you know, people rule upon the earth is through Yahweh Shai. All right, he says of who, you know, the king, who's the prince, president, and so on and so on, man. He says this all up. Right. The reason why he saw, his, you know, ruling around is called because of the most high, man. He says, for in, in the hand of the Lord is, is there a cup, and the wine is red, it's full of mixture, and he poured out of, of the same, but it drags the rub. All the wicked of earth shall wring them out and drink them. Right. All right, it's up going to slavery, man. If you don't understand, read what, well, uh, I mean, in Revelation 13, man, 9 and 10. All right, he that lead it into captivity shall go in captivity. Right. All right, so so called white man is going into slavery, man. Right. All right, and they know that. All right, they kind of bring it, bring it to light. Uh, with that uh, movie, it was a movie, I forgot the name of the movie, but it had, the tables turned, man. Right. Jake was actually, you know, being the masters, man, putting, you know, people on the slavery, man. But that's about to come to pass. Right. But showing you all the point that the Lord ruled upon earth, man. Okay? I think uh, Planet of the Apes, something like that. Too. Planet, yeah, Planet of the Apes, all these things, man. Okay? But why? It's all because the Lord is revealing it unto us, man. Okay? And who? Side you want to be on is the Lord's side, right? You don't, you don't want to be on the side of Esau. And you, hey, you all good, man. All right. Oh, you got your four hundred one k. Oh, you stacked up on bread. Okay. You know, which uh, to sense, you know, scripts on money is a defense. It's not wrong to have money. Okay, use it wisely. But I understand. Oh, you know, those of Yabashi side they're gonna use it. You know, with wisdom, man. I understand they're not gonna leap on it. Because scripture says peace and safety is sudden destruction. Right. All right, you don't think you're safe for having your 401k, your stocks, all right, your crypto, and all so on, so on. Then all shit go haywire. Your ass is grass, man. Right. The scripture is telling uh, money, money, money uh, riches deliver not in the day of wrath. That's great. That's great. So you gotta, uh, you gotta call on your Habashim El Shai. You gotta be dealing with your Habashim El Shai. You gotta be adherent to his words and choosing in sincerity. You know, you got to be out on the highways and the byways, man. You got to be warning the people there, man. Yeah, you got to be doing the things that's that's uh, 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 delightful in the, in, the, in the sight of the Lord, man. The right. things that the Lord delights in, man. And what does the Lord delight in, man? Ain't the men, as for the men, are you going to be doing the work of Yahweh Shema outside? If you're able to preach, be a teacher, be a prophet, are you going to prophesy? Let's right. say, you know, on the highways and byways, on the YouTube and all these platforms, ultimately YouTube and the highways and byways, unto you people, man. All right, the so-called media Latino Native Americans, man. And for your women, the women's gonna do her job, man. All right, in both parts, man, goes hand in hand, man. Women not gonna be on a highway to buy it, pop sign. Able to be doing, you know, being at a resting place for their man, man. Right. You know, take care of the household, man. Which in you know, in all beauty, you know, you know, it's in all sense, you know, it comes into play, man. It's all good, you know, it's not oh, you're just a slave as a woman. No, you just being the best, you know, the Lord has to be. Man, that's your part, man. Play your part the best, man. And us, man, we gonna play our part, man. Okay. Uh, Proverbs eleven and four. It says, "Riches profit not in the day of wrath." So don't think your money is gonna buy you any uh, security, man. Money is not gonna buy you no security, man. You're gonna you're gonna have to be protected by the angels, man. That's the only way. To, to, to uh, avoid the oncoming destruction, man. Okay, you're gonna have to be guided to the spirit of Yahweh Your money not gonna save you, man. All right. It says, "Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death." Okay, so you gotta walk the upright way. You gotta walk adhering to the words of the Lord. Okay, you gotta be doing what is delightful in the in the sight of the Lord, man. You see. And it, and, it, and it doesn't start when shit hit the fan. You have to be doing that from the liberty period, from the grace period, from now. You got to get this now, man. You got to you got to change your ways and amend your ways and uh, and walk away from evil, man. And love the uh, love the good and hate the evil, man. All right. You got to turn from wickedness, man. You see, you got to do that now. Don't wait till shit hit the fan. Right, brother. Yeah, yeah. I bring out. It's Acts two verse nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins be blotted out when the times of refreshment shall come from the presence of the Lord. Alright. Even so before even you outside like, crack the clouds and come with those chariots, so-called UFO. Alright, you gotta repent, man. Okay? 
even to that, man. You gotta repent before the grace period is over. You can't repent when, when the grace period is over. When the rain started, you had plenty of people trying to repent. Right. They couldn't repent when it was raining and drowning. It was more than you then. It was more than you. How the fuck you gonna repent raining. when when the judgment's already raining down on your fucking head? The judgment already been sent from the heavens. You think we wasn't repenting on them slave ships? You think we wasn't saying so oh, sorry, please God, you yeah, will please. You already on the ship. We was already on the ships. If you think for a second that we wasn't repenting on them damn ships, you out of your goddamn mind. It was just too late. It was just too late. <laughs> your ass better repent before we get off these streets. You better stop fucking around. That's right. Those of you still got that weed demon on you, those of you still got that shrimp crab demon on you, eat it every once in a while. I eat it every once in a while, but I'm a Hebrew Israelite. You better stop fucking playing, man. Because that's how Jake wrote. Jake think, you know, we, we know you got to detach from it, but you're still fucking around. Still procrastinating. Still procrastinating. Still, you know, yeah, yeah. Doing, doing little shit here and there. Yeah, yeah. We got people saying, you know, I, you know I, we, we deal with people in the world, they say, hey, man, now I'm going to keep smoking. You know, when I see so called Jesus crack the clouds, I'm going to stop. I'm going to put a blood down. It don't work like that, man. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. Cause, hey, that's that's Jake for you, man. Yeah, we know. That's why we we can sit up here and we can say things like this because we know we we're your people. brethren. We know you. All right. Well, if we just read it, um, Ezekiel three. We don't we're not sent to strange people, man. All right. We, we, live, <laughs> we live. We live amongst, amongst you, people, right. man. Kingful. We know y'all. Right. This is how y'all operate. Y'all might do a little bit here and there, and then. You know, because you're not doing it full fledged, you think you're okay. You ain't fucking okay. You better stop. You better stop doing whatever the fuck y'all doing. It's not hard. It's not hard to not eat bacon, not eat shrimp, seafood boils. It's, it's all for a reason, man. The Lord had the dietary laws for a reason. You start eating these parasites, I mean, these things. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's parasites in them. Parasites. Those just cause parasites they, they, because you're not supposed to be eating them. Exactly. You know? Your body start fucking up, man. Your body start throwing red flags, check engine light, all these bullshit telling you, hey, it's not, it's not good, man. Hey, they put fucking diesel in the goddamn, <laughs> and you got a, a car that run on regular gas. Why the fuck you putting diesel in it? That's what you niggas are doing. You're, you're hurting, you're being contrary to nature. Nature. That's why some brothers, when they would sit and eat pork, they would get headaches. When they eat shrimp and crab, the allergies will start fucking up. I'm speaking about me. Yeah, I'm allergic to um, shellfish. When I stopped, when I stopped eating those things, my allergies went away. Yeah. When I ate pork, I used to get headaches. I know, I know why. Cause you, your body's telling you no, no. My yeah. <laughs> swelling up. Your body's swelling up. That's that's how I was telling you no. Uh, what is this, Isaiah uh, six to six? The book of Isaiah chapter Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So this is how the Lord is coming, man. Alright? To, re re uh, to render <laughs> rebuke, man. Okay, uh, it says you a render a render a recompense mm -hmm. because you gotta pay if you if your sins aren't covered, then you have to pay the tab on the bill. There's right. a bill. Right. So the bill see if the elect bill is paid, how much y'all pay the elect bill? Their light bill is paid. Right. <laughs> but everybody on this earth has a bill. And if your bill is unpaid, you have a grace period. There's some kind of grace period. Where you, the grace period is for you to get the money together for you to pay your bill. And when that grace period is over, they come in and cut your lights off. Literally. They come in and cut the lights off. Okay? And, and when the man, the FPL man, well now they do it remotely, but back in the days the FPL man would come to your house, he's the angel. <laughs> which is messenger, and he would go to your meter box and cut your lights off, and you would go to the angel and say, no, please. Uh, give me one more week. He said, "Nope, I got the, I got the, I got the message already from the man. I gotta cut it off. Ain't nothing he can do about it. Right. See, you ain't gonna be able to plead with the angels. Right. The angel's not gonna want to hear it. He's gonna have a sword in his hand. 
<laughs> you got to pay your bill, Jake. And if you can't pay it, it got to be paid in blood. I'm just sorry. That's just how it's going to go. No, you got to go to a restaurant. You got a term. You got a restaurant. You can't pay the bill. You got to go around and try to wash the dishes. <laughs> This one you can't wash the dishes, buddy. <laughs> you can't wash the dishes on this one, dog. If your house I don't pay your bill, your asses. Why the hell you think we up here? If we we trying to pull on your house out. We want your house out to pay our bill. We want the Lord to pay our bill that we're in debt to. That's why we're here. <laughs> okay, Isaiah uh, 66 and 16. It says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. But they build that baby. Right. Lights out. Uh, verse 17, it says, they that sanctify themselves, this is the point, and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, said the Lord. So if you still eat all of these abominable foods and all the broth, even the broth itself abominable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Out of the mouth, uh, out yeah, because you might get some clean food that you can eat, right. but the broth right. is unclean. They'll put, uh, let's say uh, if you eat from a ramen place, you'll have the noodles, but the broth will be pork broth. You right. gotta you gotta make sure the broth that you eat ain't, 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 right. ain't, ain't Ain't been marinated in un unclean right. food. Right. I'm telling you, man. I like trying to eat a pepperoni pizza and taking out the pepperoni off. Yeah, taking the pepperoni off. No. All right. <laughs> you're not supposed to touch it. It's cheese now. <laughs> you're not supposed to touch it. But it's in your food. It's, not it's, cheese. Cheese. it's cheese now, brother. Uh, man, you better throw that shit away, man. You brought a pepperoni to shake off. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, but yeah, man. The whole message, yeah, 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 I see y'all watching us right now, man. Time is running up, man. Time is running out. That's right, you're right. And you can feel it, you can see it in the earth. The heat is, is turning up, literally. <laughs> hey, I, I, I go, when I'm on the water, the fucking water be so damn hot. Ain't no more cold water in the, on the, on, out there. The water be so hot, like 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 millions of people that pissed in the water. Wait, speaking of that, hey, I put it on the weather too. Speaking of Parkin. that, hey, let me say something real good. Speaking of that, I just seen a video. Um, that was to see how um the, our oceans, you know, the beaches are so fucked up. You know, it makes sense because they taking up all the, uh, the the cleanings of the earth. There is so much feces in the water, man. And they, the guy said in the video, hey, don't be surprised. You go to the beach one day and you see somebody turd just pop up. Man, look at all those dead fishes that pop up on the beach in Texas. Yeah, the, pork, the whole coastline was full of dead fish, man. Right, this is the the people of the earth are being eaten up and put as luxuries, man. Which goes back to what I said. Those fishermen, they go and they just keep fishing, 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 fishing. fishing, and, fishing. and they go and they, they, they just get in that big ass net and just keep all the shrimp, crab, and lobster part of the sea. Every fucking lake. You got something called lobster season. Lobster season, and then they got these different seasons. That shit ain't it ain't working, buddy. Because people don't take what they need; they take what they want. Exactly. And you're not supposed to be taking the cleaners of the sea. That's why. You know how big the sea is, man. Right. Come on, the God. sea is huge. The sea is huge, and it's polluted. It's polluted now. Cause of who? Who's ruling? No. Are the are the so-called black people ruling? No. Cause if we was ruling, we would kick your goddamn ass, Esau. Right. Yeah. We would regulate. We would, we would, we would regulate, man. The so-called white man is ruling. He's the governors and the senates and all the. Uh, they make all the, the supreme courts and all them. No, oh, you damn Edomites, man. And this is why. And this is why the people is mourning. Uh, Proverbs chapter twenty-nine and verse two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Hey, they might, oh, hey, brother, why you care about what's going on in the sea? This is our earth, dummy. Right. It was made for our sakes. This is our earth. Hey, brother, why you, why you care about the earth? This is our earth. The Lord put us here to take care of the earth. Right. But we see these devils messing the earth up. We live on earth. Hello? Right. Are we the only ones that care about what's going on in the earth? All right. All right. All right. They're going to care. They're going to care when they start hitting me. 
It's like you rent your car out of Airbnb on, 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 on with a Toro. You you rent your car out to somebody, right? And you see that they tearing your fucking car up. That's what he. This is earth. Right. This double got the damn earth. He treating it like a rental car. Right. Like a like you rented a Hellcat or something. Right. He just doing donuts in it. <laughs> he just racing people in it and shit. Hanging out the window with his ugly ass. Tearing up the bumper. Tearing up the bumper. He, he just don't. I'm talking about he, he drifting and shit. He had car shows. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord just got us sitting there like, man, we, when we get a hold of you devils, when you turn the rental back in, we're going to kick your ass, man. If the engine don't drop up, we're going to kick your ass. If the engine don't drop up before it turns back in, man. <laughs> Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked doth rule, the people mourn. Sending billions of dollars to Ukraine, but it's homeless people here in America. Right. right. We're looking at a homeless person right now. <laughs> Shit everywhere downtown. Right. You're sending tens of billions of dollars of taxpayer dollars to Ukraine. But look at look at over here. Look. But not see nobody cares. Right. You go to San Francisco, we got a whole block that these damn ho uh, homeless people, right? You know that they, they they took up the whole the, the whole block. Yeah, that's, that's the point where they build a house made out of cardboard. Right, man, they got a go kitchen in that bitch. Right. They got a rug. The one there is a rug. Uh, Philadelphia. You got homeless people everywhere. Why don't they give some of that money to these homeless people? Right. The the, the cost of living. Uh, the housing market is skyrocketing. Okay. Why don't they help some of these people? Okay. They 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 becoming homeless member. Yet yeah, all of this money going over there. Yeah, they got money for wars, but can't feed the poor. See? Like Tupac said. Right. Right? And that was true saying. Right. Right. <laughs> right? Tens of billions of dollars. Oh, every week. Oh, well, we're sending another two billion to Ukraine. Right. <laughs> nigga, this money not coming from thin air, nigga. This is the money that when you get paid, that the Dutch out of your check, yep. he's sending it over there. Federal withholding. Not only could that only could I last like for it. so long. <laughs> yeah, federal. I only could laugh for so long. Because at the end of the day, they're trillions in debt. <laughs> and debt, man, they're trillions in debt. A debt that you cannot pay back. Yeah, and debt to How are you not able to keep selling this money? You, you can't even pay it to do that. Come on. Yeah, that's, well, that's a whole other conversation. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> the Pentagon said, oh, they made an uh, error. They lost some money. It, 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 but it's, um, see. Yeah, I see that shit. You can't, this can't sustain oh. itself forever, man. You hey, print it by now, it's in here. Oh yeah, we made, we made an error. Uh, we really sent more. I think they said they sent more than what they told y'all. Right. You Edomites, this is your kingdom. We don't give a fuck. So when your kingdom goes down, see, y'all in shambles right now. Y'all about to fight each other and shit. And we're going to sit back and watch it. What's <laughs> going down? This civil war going to be epic. Edomite versus Edomite. Red versus blue. <laughs> Hey, the Civil War is coming back. The Civil War is coming back. But it's going to be more bloodshed. Yep, we, we just bought modern day technology. Yep. With clip, extendo clips, <laughs> lasers, attached to it, with infrared technology, with the fucking scopes. Yeah, it's all going out. Automatics. They didn't have all that shit back in the Civil War, but it's coming back now. Uh, oh. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hand. There you go. Right there. Civil war. Yeah, because the modern day sword is the gun. And everybody has one. Yep. America okay. is the most armed country in the, in the world. Every, every one, for every one America, there's two guns. <laughs> Nobody has more guns than America. Nobody. Which shows you, this is where, this is Esau. This is the, the, the this vessel was a sword, right? Yeah. That's what the Edomites said. And that makes you think too, that's why it went. When all these things are popping off, you really gonna need the Lord. You gonna need the Lord. There's too many guns here. Bullets flying everywhere. It's, it's too many. There's too many guns. Ain't nothing you're gonna be able to physically do to get out of here. Let's say you can kill a thousand people, but that one thousand and one person might blow your goddamn head off. Game over.
<laughs> and you can't respawn from this video game or from this game. Right. Ain't no respawn button. <laughs> uh, verse 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. The governors, the mayors, the president, they ain't gonna wanna hear that. It's gonna be showtime. Go time. Show time and go time. <laughs> and the course of their action shall stand in their power. So they're going to do whatever they please. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. It's going to be road block. Road's going to be road's going to be blocked off. City, off. City's going to be blocked off because it's going to be war time. It's time for war. It says, uh, but because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Wink, wink, Esau, the, the, the king of pride. Right. The houses shall be destroyed, yep. and men shall be afraid. Men shall be afraid. Right. <laughs> What's going on? Right. If, if, men, if men are going to be afraid, what you think about these women out here? Yes, sir. They're going to they cleave unto a man in that day. Oh, yeah. We're going we to get Eve back then. Right. She <laughs> gonna say, the Lord said you're going to make a man, a man more precious than fine gold, gold, man. These women, you, you're going to stop worrying about being misindependent then. You're going to need a man. Okay. You ain't worry about Eve then, boy. Right. <laughs> I got one more verse. Verse 19. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 19. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. So, 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 Billy, who's your next door neighbor, you ain't been in school for the last 15 years, but, 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 Billy, <coughs> Billy ain't of your race, man. Billy ain't got no food. Right, and that day, Billy gonna join on to his own people. You gonna ask Billy for some food, or one of you gonna ask each other for some food, he gonna tell you no. This is for me and my family. Hey, but remember, <laughs> right, look, right. look what's going on in the earth right now. People knocking on the wrong doors and getting their heads blown off, man. It's, it, lot, it, it's, it even in, it's time even didn't come to that point yet, but it's already happening. Crime is increasing. Right. Because mother, motherfuckers is hurting, man. Uh, it says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall... Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, let me see it. Shit, you get it. Let's see. That's That's a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So yeah, we're living in a time where oh, no. we're, living, cool. we're living in a time where hey, but, okay. but, 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 but I do want to say this though. That man, he offered us food. Okay? Now the scriptures do say you give a, a prophet a cup of cold water, you know, just the, that that thought, you know. It, it you know. You could be saved off that. I don't know if that man's an Israelite or not, right. but I just want to make that point that you try to feed us. You know what I'm saying? Where the hell are you believers at, man? Scripture yeah. said to bless those who bless you. But it, that's abomination. You it. That, what that was? Seafood? Yeah, man. By that, sad, by that shrimp like that. That <laughs> <laughs> shit big know, too, man. yo. But hey, but he, but, but he don't know no better. Know no better. But the good thing about this, we know better. better. We know better. Right. And we, what, that's the spirit. We were just talking about what? Yeah. Unclean food. Right. right. Unclean food. We right. were just offered food, but see, but he don't know what the fuck is going on. Right. He don't know you're not supposed to eat that. Right. He, he might just be a, he say he was a guy, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but here it is, uh, 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 somebody yeah, who, you know, know you. where the hell the believe is at? Right. Right right. on, on that believe in you, how about Shimei Oshak? Y'all supposed to be doing this for us, man. Yeah. See, that's, that's the thing about the spirit dealing. You know, it's, 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 it's having you the, 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 the exercise discernment. Like you were saying, he don't know, but we know that. We, yeah. That's the good thing about the whole matter. Yeah. <laughs> but he tried to bless us. Yeah, he tried, he tried. He tried to bless us, us. <laughs> but he don't know. Right, he don't know. <laughs> so, 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 my question is, where are the true believers? Those that listen to the word. It's hot as hell. If we needed water, this is the summer, man. <laughs> this is the summer. If you want to get saved, man. We bring the promise some water, man. The scriptures say what they say. You're going to receive a promise for water. Right. And somebody had did that. Uh, and lady came and she came and she gave all of us the butter. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, she said, keep doing what y'all doing. Hey, okay. man. Right. So that's my question. Not to change the topic. 
what the topic, you know, is, you know, the believers are supposed to be out here with us, man. What's in there? I ain't saying prophesying, but helping. You don't think it's hot as hell out here? Say charity cover the mouth. What do they say? July 4th was the hottest day ever recorded on planet Earth. But we can't get a goddamn bottle of water from the believers. Charity, charity cover our mouth full of sin. Boy, I tell you, boy. You gotta be charitable. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. We'll finish on that. The second entrance ain't read 50 for, for many great miseries. Shall be done to them that them, that many great men shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the, in the world because they have walked in great pride. Right, that's, that's the whole confusion of it. All right, you got think about death, famine, destruction. All right. All these things gonna call. All these things gonna call upon you because what you walk in great pride. You didn't want to see Yahweh by Shimon's side. As you say, he had a, the, um, the liberty too, but he didn't want to. Okay, he had so-called better things to do. All right, what's better than seeking out my shit? You ain't got, you ain't, you ain't got nothing to do. You ain't got no money. The Bro. economy all fucked up. Right. Well, you ain't got nothing to do. Stop it. This, is, this ain't uh, three years ago when everybody had uh, uh, all that pandemic money. You, the money dried up now. You ain't got none. What's your excuse now? Hey, oh, Jake just full of excuses, man. Full of shit. Right. That's the time we're gonna get into, man. Okay. You know, what you want to do is seek out Bashimasha wholeheartedly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 32, otherwise known as Sirach, chapter 32, verse 17. A sinful mind will not be reproved, but find it an excuse according to his will. So they find excuses, man. You know, they're supposed to be coming out, listening to the word. Are showing charity, but they ain't coming out. They ain't seeking the Lord. They're doing their own thing. You know? But guess what? At the end of the day, this is for a reason and this is for a purpose, man. This is our reasonable service to show forth the praises of him who have called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Okay? Because we want nothing above than to praise our Lord and to have salvation. We need salvation. We need to be delivered, man. Uh, up against the hard times that are coming. We want to be delivered, man. The scripture speaks about perilous times are coming. Savage, fierce times are coming. You want to, you, you want to be delivered from that, man. All right? Why are you getting delivered? Why are you having a safe haven? This is Yahweh Shema Shah. You got to see the man. All right? You got to be able to It's Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. All right, and if you read Matthew chapter 6, verse 25, all the way down to the last verse, all right, goes into the Lord, feeding, providing, sheltering, all, all uh, the, the needs that you need, man. All the, um, you know, the, the basic needs you need of a life, man. The Lord, the Lord got you, man. Okay, you shouldn't be worrying about how I'm going to eat this day, what if this thing happened. You say, hey, take no thought for um, tomorrow. Right. Right. That's the next verse. Verse 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Alright, you know, even to not only this food, clothes, you know, shelter, but even when, you know, so I'll come, come at you, man. When there's no food, pestilence is on a rise. Pestilence is already here, but when they intensify, when all these things intensify, people, people clashing against each other. All right, martial law, you know, the troops out here on the, on the streets. Okay, you're not gonna take, you know, you're not really gonna worry, man. Understand, y'all about to see my son got you, right. Especially if you was doing what you was doing. Now, you really should be worried if you wasn't, you know, seeking y'all about to see my son. If you was struggling the shoulder, all right. Yeah, better things to do. You should, you should actually be worried. Huh? I only, I only the NLT. Call that bullshit. Nah, can't bullshit the Lord. Can't bullshit him. Right. It's on Matthew chapter six, the same verse, but in the, in the NLT version. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. 
today's trouble is enough for today. And so the law, the law wants you to exercise faith, man. This is why the law was, was, was vexed with our people in the wilderness, because they, they wouldn't exercise their faith. You know? He don't want you to worry about tomorrow. He wants you to know that you have him. The law wants you to know, it's like it. The law wants you to know that you have him, man. Yep. So you don't got to worry about tomorrow. You got to exercise that faith. You see? That's part of that. That's going back to what you previously opened up with. That's part of the good news, man. Having a true borrow that you guys can lean on. Having a true power you can actually lean on. That's part of the good news. All right. We got it, Europe. It's a song, 27. In verse 14, wait on the Lord, Yahweh, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord, Yahweh. All right, and all we got to do is play our part and wait on Yahweh to my side, man. You see troops coming at you crazy and taking trouble. Hey, man, hey, call upon the name of the Lord, man. Okay, and you're going to have something to play into your part. It may guide you to another area for some protection or, you know, for some, you know, shelter. He may provide you with spiritual power, which that's coming real soon. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we need to pray about it. Pray about it and be in our mind that, hey, we're going to receive spiritual power. Too much people got guns, man. Too much. Too much people got guns. Okay? Some some not even registered. Some <laughs> so, illegal. Oh, they say they don't need it no more. In the state of Florida, oh, no, more, no, more, no right. more permit. You know yeah. what I mean? You can just walk around with the blicky. <laughs> man, we, we, we live in Miami. We're brothers. We, but we live in Miami, man. That's in, if you don't know, that's in Florida. Come on, man. I got a news article that just popped up when y'all finished. Right. Y'all gonna, gonna laugh at this one. <laughs> Psalms chapter 44, verse 6. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. I will not trust in my gun. My gun is not going to save me. That's modern day terms. I need to keep it on me, man. Keep that blicky on me. Keep that thing on me. Yeah. Ain't no nigga for the cash we lack. That, 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 that ain't gonna work, buddy. Hey, man, your gun was out of bullets, but the men of the Lord, they're gonna have faith until the end, man. That's right. That's your gun will jam on you, but not the Lord. That's right. I help us in the name of the Lord. That's right. Okay. There's only so much you can do with a gun, man. All right, you got 500 bullets. All right, like, like, what you gonna do when the next person comes? <laughs> or, or when the next five people come? Yeah, like, five. You can't kill everybody, man. Come on, man. Stupid. You're watching too many movies, man. You can't try to. <laughs> yeah. Watch the you know, movies. Watch... Jake shoots sideways, man. They can't even shoot. Jake watching the movies, dog. <laughs> Jake smoking that weed, watching yeah. the movies. Yeah. He, he, he thinking he can do that. <laughs> Motherfucker, you was not Jet Li, Steven Seagal, you was not those guys, man. Look at you. Chuck Norris. <laughs> you ain't them guys, man. Oh, oh Jason Straight, uh, straight up, the, the, you know, the action movie guys. What is uh, what, what his name? Uh, Will Smith in that movie? Yeah. You're not them guys, man. You're not them boys. Second Edge chapter 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works nah. and by faith. Nah, by my gun. They don't say a gun. Yeah, exactly. And by his works you and by his faith. You know you're gonna get beamed up with a, with a, with a pistol in our pocket, man? <laughs> you know how to get beamed up with a tires with an AK, bro. Uh, Come on, man. Woo, with a chopper in your hand. You taking the chopper with you in the cherry. No, man. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> hey, you got it. <laughs> Hold on, man. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7 from the top. And everyone that shall be saved, which everyone means the elect. Yeah. All right? That means yeah. the elect, not the whole damn world, man. Not these heathens. The elect nation of Israel, all right? And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. Because you believe, you kept your faith to the end. Shall be preserved, which means protected. From the said pearls, and shall see my salvation in my land, and within my borders, for I have sanctified them, the elect, for me from the beginning. Meaning they are predestinated to see right. salvation. There you go. 
They already got the AC locked in right now. It said, it said from the set perils. Yeah. So they're showing you the perilous times that are coming. Oh, the yeah. destructive times that are coming. Perilous times are coming. Yeah. Yeah. This is from your Vice President Kamala Harris. Yeah. I feel like Kamala Harris says U.S. must reduce population to oh, fight shoot. climate change. Oh, oh. Well, she said she meant to say pollution. Yeah, okay. No, 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 yeah, no. but hey. This is from the New York Post, right. by the way. That's but guess what? They Georgia guys do say the same thing. Exactly. So, <laughs> you people <laughs> very what? Y'all keep fucking around. Right. We'll find uh, out. But when, when you Jakes fuck around, that's when uh, Bill Gates released mosquitoes and Fauci comes out. The wicked, they come and, they come and get you. Right, so what he just read just now, that article he just read, to go with that, let's look up the Georgia guy stores, man, and see the very first thing that it says. That's very good. I, I did watch that video. Hey, 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 you know, we do a very, you know, this, this, that. Yeah, he's, he means what he says, too. Be wicked. They ain't fucking around. Right. See, you people still trusting in the enemy. Something's not right. The Edomite, the Edomite guys say, that's not right, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's not right. Showing so, you how you saw the devil. Who, 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 who are you to say that the earth needs 500 million people, man? Right. Who are but you now, that man? everybody got to listen to you? Right. Because he knows that most people gave him power. Certain people can't right. live. Only 500 million only. Not 501. Only 500 million. He know, he know that the most high gave him power to rule. Because he said he knows that he had but a short time. So he know that he's in rulership. He knows right. that the earth, the, the Lord gave him the earth. But he's about to, he's about to get mad. Because <laughs> he got a short time. Right. I got a quick one. This is out. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 15. It says, everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So if, you, if you, your mindset is, is, is running along with the devil, you're going you gonna to get caught up, man. You're going you gonna to get caught up, man. Okay? And you're going to fall when he falls. Because he's got to fall. You're going to fall right along with him. Okay? It's going to be epic. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. Epic, big. This, this is the time you want to be on Earth. You see this? Wait, wait, what did you say in Second? I like, I like to bring out that point. Second Edges thirteen. He said, "Blessed are they that are left behind." Are those that are gonna be able to see all the way to the end? It's gonna be awesome. Right? That's right. right. It's gonna be epic. That's what he'll find. He'll find. That means you went through Jacob's mm -hmm. trouble. The Lord has sent you, sent you a bunch of miracles. He don't pay, pay you a bunch of miracles. He probably even got that spiritual power. And he got the Lord just cracking the sky, man. Ooh, wee. You're going to be on earth. That, that's going to be history. Exactly. Forever history. You was on the earth to say that you saw the Abishai come back and he, right. and he saved you. Because exactly. that's only going to be a certain number of people. Right. That go, exactly. That's going to be able to say that for eternity. Right. Quick priest at Revelation chapter 20 and verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of the Most High and of Amashi and shall reign with him a thousand years. We still talking about Noah. He was delivered from the first one. We still talking about Noah. Thousands of years later. That's how we'll be in the kingdom. Yeah. If we are part of this first resurrection, people are going to be talking about us like they talk about Noah forever. But right. forever though. Because yeah, right. right. we was delivered from the second death. Right. Now, you see the news coming down, and all you see is being a bull. It's a wrap. That's, that's the one you keep in the books. That's right. That's what the books spell. And this man talking about 2030. <laughs> okay, so just sure say bring out, bring out the warrior within. Oh, okay. Spirit probably on my side. That's right. Hey man. Yeah. Alright. Clearly see it happening and manifesting right before our eyes, man. Prophecy is going forth, popping off of the pages. Alright? And, and we our faith is boosted, man. We you know, the Lord has uplifted our spirits, man. Say, well, we say a lot, hey, great to be alive, man. Right. That's right. God's still there. Great time to be alive. So Luke chapter 10, 24. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which you see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. So we're living in the times of what? 
that the how Bashi Nal Shai is pouring out his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to his men. Right. All right, starting with the elders and apostles and those on down, down. All right, we know that we can break down the book of Revelation. We know that we got all the, the, the wisdom and the, and the secrets and the mysteries of the Bible that we need. Right, we know the true names. All right, and we're going to get ready to see miraculous power and spiritual power to be then us, no willing we those men during the time that's to come. All right, we're going to see chariots, we're going to see the salvation of Israel. We are seeing the destruction of Esau, man. That's right. We're seeing this damn devil crumble before our damn eyes, man. That's right. Yep. In real time. Isaiah 44 verse 1. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus said Yahweh that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshua, which means upright one, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thine offspring the lord is pouring out in these times like the brother was speaking of and they shall spring up as among the grass as willows by the water courses one shall say i am the lord so this is what we do we know we belong to the lord we know we we, we where is his inheritance okay and another shall call himself by the name of jacob you're going to start to serve Turn in yourself, man. You're going to go back to your respective tribes, calling yourself right. by, you know, Benjamin, Judah, Levi, Ephraim, you know, Manasseh. Okay, that's why I said earlier, the Lord not coming back for black people, man. He coming back for those who know that they're Israelites, man, and proclaiming it. Okay? It says, one shall say, I am the Lord, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. Another shall subscribe with his hands unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. That's what we're doing, man. We came back to our heritage. All right? Thus said the Lord, King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God, and who is, and who as I shall call, and shall declare it, and, I, and set it in order for me, since I appointed the ancient people, Jacob is the former of all things, and the things that are coming and shall come, let them show unto them, fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time, and have declared it, yet are even, so like ye, ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yeah, there is no God, I know not any. So there's only one true power, man, his name is Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai. And that's the God we worship, that's the God we serve, that's the God we're going to be calling on. Okay? Well, God. Uh, this is the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And we are living in those last days now, all right, where even these Edomites are right, having visions of seeing the damn kingdom are uh, being destroyed. Are you seeing children having visions and dreams about Yahweh Shai returning? All right, the men of the Lord are prophesying, they got the holy scriptures already, uh, completely discerned through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai to be able to go into these prophecies and break them down, man. Okay, so the Lord is putting his spirit upon all flesh, but he's dealing with his elect, his elect, all right, the nation of Israel, all right, starting with the 144k. Okay, but the Lord, the Lord is the, the Lord is here right now, man. And we're in those last days, which goes back, which is the reason why you should repent. If you're a so-called black, Latino, or Native American man and woman, you are compelled to repent so we could you can evade the trouble that's to come. Right, that's, the that's, 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 all, that's why you want to see God on my side, bro. You don't want to take part in the second death. You don't want to get your head blown off. You don't want your stomach to touch your back in famine. Right. All right, you want to be able to eat. It's good to talk about um, next thing, those ultimately who are who are going to be in this case is those who see, 
you know, who don't seek Yahweh Shema Shai, but those who do seek Yahweh Shema Shai do things all wholeheartedly, hey, they're going to be merry, having abundance. All right? Hey, they're going to be in good in the family, man. It may not, hey, sometimes in the family, it may not be the best, the best deal, but you can be good, man. The Lord going to feed you. We just, right. read, we just went in Matthew chapter 6, we really go through the whole thing, but just take no thought. You don't worry, man. Just seek the Lord, man. Repent. I'll back you up right now with this one. Proverbs 1 verse 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So when all hell breaks loose up in this bitch, your ass is going to get on your knees, going to try to, you're going to pray to your damn God. Who? Jesus, but he's not answer that, man. He's not going to answer your prayers. You are set to be destroyed if you don't repent now. Thus said the Lord. That's right. Going on. Well, I said it, except you, except you repent, you shall likewise perish. The book of Luke, the 13th chapter, man. Verse 29. For they, for that they hated knowledge was the knowledge of scriptures. All right, the scriptures, the Bible, the holy scriptures. Y'all woke up against it. We tell you to stop eating pork shrimp, crab lobster. Ah, nah, you know what? I, I, I don't think I want to deal with that. Oh, I'm gonna, I got to stop smoking weed? Nah, 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 I don't want to deal with that. Because you, you're set up to be on a man and a woman that is set to be on a standard. And you don't want to do that. You want to continue mingling with the fucking heathens. You want to continue mingling on this earth. But guess what? If you continue that way, that is only a path to destruction. For they that hated knowledge, and do not choose the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So you didn't choose to fear the Lord, you chose to fear your oppressor, the so called white man. You so called black Latino and Native American man, y'all better repent, man. Thus of the Lord. Alright, why? Why? Uh, we, we, we constantly, that, we constantly come out every week to the spirit. Alright? So it's a warrant, man. Alright, what do people will do? They're going to try to show this guy we're speaking, he's going to put the window up. Alright, that's it. Hey, you condemn. Everybody want to go to heaven, right? Everybody talk about heaven, right? But nobody wants to do the things that they got to do to get, get to heaven. heaven. Come on, bro. Right? So, but well, you want to be successful, but there are certain things you got to do to be successful. You got to work. You got to be disciplined. But when it comes to heaven, no, no, no. No, we ain't got to do nothing to get to paradise, right? You people, like I said earlier, you got to get this is This is a sick generation, man. This is a bunch of sick, weird people. We're, we're, we're walking among sickos. Yeah. You got it, that's, yeah. That's, that's how you know we're in the days of Noah again. Yeah. Just one, verse 22. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For, for if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. Yeah, man, we don't need no keyboard warriors, man. We need we need you, you know, actually putting up that work, man. The man do what they gotta do, be a be able body, do, do, do the work, man. Prophesy, you know, put up videos, study, help, help, okay. You know, it's different part of the bodies, okay. Woman, please your man. Okay, woman got a job too, man. Right. Okay. Yeah, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Women, they can help. Women are helps. You know. Help. Uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right, you want to put forth, you know, you know, you, you know, your best for your boss from our side, man. Not only around others. What you doing behind the shadows? Okay. Are you actually going, going and reading and studying, setting little study days, oh, video days, you know? Actually putting the best forth for y'all about some like reading, attain to, you know, his ways. Chris said, rehearse re 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 some righteous acts. Man. Are you doing that? Okay. Are you just saying, oh, don't eat pork, this and this and that, this day, and you do it behind closed doors? Or are you saying these things to the spirit? Because, hey, we, we're dealing with Jake, man. They say, oh, they believe they, Hebrew, they believe they, you know, they know, you know, that they are the lies. But do all kinds of bullshit behind closed doors, man. We, we know you, Jason, man. You got to put, put, put forth your best foot, man. You got to put forth your best work, man. Okay? 
All right, you say you love my, you love your power. Even say you say you love your power. You say hey, if you love me, keep my commandments, man. Yeah. Keep me, I keep the ways of Yahweh Shema Shai, man. And a part of that, part of keeping his ways, you gotta put in some work, man. All right, you work out. If you, you work out, understand like if you work out, you gotta go to the gym, do your certain reps, certain your steps, certain days you go, so you can see that progress. When it comes to Yahweh Shema Shai, you have to put more. Work. It seems like when it comes to spirituality, everybody wants instant gratification. Oh, yeah. Man, like, when it comes to carnal things, people are willing to go to the gym. People are willing to diet. But when it comes to God, every, you think everything just goes out of the window. It shouldn't be like that because you're going to need the Lord. <laughs> hey, remember when, 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 when things happen, who name you call first? Oh, oh God. God, please help me. See? So it shouldn't be like that. The brother read the scripture earlier. Seek, seek him first, man. Seek you first the kingdom of the most high, man. And all these things shall be added on to you. You should be seeking the Lord, man. Not, not putting him last. He needs to be first. All right. Yeah, I like to use the term a lot. I call you Jake's deathbed ass niggas, man. Because when, when you're on your deathbed, that's when you want to seek y'all about shit outside. Yeah. And that's when you when you in a, 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 a hard predicament. That's what you want to see, y'all. Yeah, my shoe God, please help me. Revelation chapter three, verse fifteen. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. All right. I'm also say a double minded man is unstable on his ways. Okay, you want to be hot for Yahweh Shah. Okay, sometimes you might have the low weeks, you know, in high weeks, but also you understand you're pushing for Yahweh Shah. Right. Are you, you want to have one foot in and one foot out? Right. Yeah, well, we speak about earlier. Jake, I know that there is a life, but they still dibbling, dabbling, eating a little pork here and there, still smoking a little weed. That's. You, 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 now you, you dabbling in between. You being cold and you being hot. So, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, so basically, you're lukewarm if you're doing those things. Yeah, yeah man, you can't hopscotch in this truth. That's, 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 that's really, that's really what being cold and hot is. Because right. you, you, you know, you dibble and dabble. And that's, Jake does that a lot. And that's why the Lord said that. Jake is into that shit. So you can't serve two masters. That's what Jake be doing. Jake is in and out, in and out, in and out. Oh, I'm a, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, but I'm still doing, I'm still smoking cigarettes a little bit, but I'm still eating a little shrimp. Over. No, you can't do that. Yeah, man, I'm just like, but I still got to make this money, though. You're still doing a little scamming. Oh, no, I'm just taking from the government. You, that, that's lukewarm. Right. I mean, that, that's that. Only so that you really don't trust in y'all about That's like saying, look. You got a wife, right? You're a man, you got a wife. Do you want your wife going off with different men, but at the same time coming back home to you? At least you know what home is. Yeah. <laughs> that bullshit. You see what I'm saying? That That's some wicked shit, though. You are a woman to the Alba Shinaam shot. So you want your woman faithful, 100% dedicated to you. That's how we're supposed to be in this truth, man. In this ministry. That's the God that we worship, man. Hey, that's the God that flooded the whole earth. That is the God that redeemed us and brought us out of Egypt, man. The same God that's still here today, that we worship. That's the how about shit that was shy. And you can and see, you can fool us because we're men. You can talk shit to us. You can fool us. You can deceive us because we're in the flesh. But you cannot deceive your how about shit that was shy. Right. Plain and simple. Right, with that, you know, being said, you know, lowering this camp was edifying. We want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Kakudash. We want to give double honors to our apostles and elders and great millstone. I want to say Shalom to all the Akimah, their people's truth and our truth and sincerity. And, you know, we we'll say, you know, Abba Thumb, you know, Abba Bob, Abba Bob, Shalom. Shalom.